lost one. No, I don't need a season of that. That went on for some hours um, after Janet had died. scared. Uh, I said, um, you're scaring me? And then she said, well, you're scaring me? I tried to do CPR. But I don't know how to do it. A spiritual message came through to him seemingly from the deceased grandmother. absolutely critical that we understand how this happens and inevitably hold people to account for what has happened. One charge of cruelty to a child. The odd thing about the case was deeply held spiritual Maori beliefs were being aired in, in such a formal white um, colonial, if you like, system. The courts bend over backwards to be sensitive but when they describe what had happened it was like reading a scene from the Salem Witch Trials. The family belief was based on misconceptions and misinformation. None of the expert witnesses had ever heard of pouring large volumes of water uh, into the person afflicted as a way of dealing with the Makatu. And as it turned out, the lion was one of a pair of concrete garden ornaments that had been purchased new by the uh, owner of the hotel. He had smeared yogurt on the statues to try and weather them and, and make them look older than they were. But um, they certainly weren't um, objects of antiquity at all. Well, to breaking news now, and the jury in the Janet Moses exorcism trial in Wellington has just returned with a verdict. Simon. It's been a long wait for that uh, jury to come back with their verdict. A lot of people at court wanting to hear that verdict. Here's what happened. Guilty. 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 Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. And Glennis Wright received community detention. Offenders, all aunts of Janet Moses, also sentenced to community service, supervision, and to undertake cultural education programs. This was a just response to a tragic death. The jury, by their verdicts, held the family members who killed Janet criminally responsible for her death, and it's a recognition of the sanctity of life. Typical sentences for manslaughter are um, four to six years, but um, none of the justifications for sending people to prison seem to be present here. There was no deterrent value here. Punishment, perhaps what I And I know a lot of people are very cynical about the system of justice, but as misguided as it appears and to us in the cold, hard light of day, they genuinely Sad to see that man. Every morning you get up and I look straight out my window and see nothing. See nothing. Hmm. Yes, bloody uh, real sad news.
Sometimes you can go past those flakes and you can still see a clear of it above it. You don't do those things. You don't make a room and mold things. I've heard that they still believe that the curse is alive in their family and it's passed on. It's understandable that they could believe that. Beliefs really are nothing more than conclusions that we have drawn on the basis of our experience. There is still the possibility that a marketer did, in fact, attack Janet. Nobody knows they could have been right all along. There's no doubt in my mind she was possessed, either from a Māori or from a Tōnuru or from she was unwell. And that curse, it's an attitude of the family continued to carry on with. What they will hand on to the future generations is really in their hands. They have to deal with the fact that despite the best that they tried to do for her in that situation, she died. So you only ever know Janet through the eyes of other people, from what they tell you, but as a mother myself. Right, it's finally finished. I wanted to just stop it. If anyone's watched this, I don't know, but... Um... It's important because it's something for me. That the Lord is speaking to me about in a dream that I just had this morning before I watch this and that has gone on well it started really it's before I even got saved in my story is something to do with the Māori spiritual principalities and powers. And I wanted to pause it. I don't want to say much because I've got a word and it's quite... I, there's quite a lot in the word that I need to develop yet through prayer. I may not have all the answers, but I like. I like. I I like the idea of documenting what I have. Because I'm the Lord is showing me that He brings me back. He's faithful to bring me back. He's faithful if I can trust Him enough. To not have all the answers, but just. To to believe the things he says even when I can't make sense of them yet because it will all make sense when I do the works that he has for me and I'm documenting it faithfully for instance right before I got to this police officer shot I wanted to pause it at the water with the wharf going out, if anyone takes the time to go to my Facebook site, which is now a year old, it's called The Timers Now, I quite early on, probably about June, which is now, last year, the Lord showed me the symbol of the lake and the wharf and the word is that glory's been up there he's been up glory's been up the wharf up that wharf up that jetty over the lake 
and there is so much around the lake but it basically comes down to cult a cult God puts a lot of things under the heading cult and I can see that he includes what's happening here and this story is a cult And the reason why I have the word that glory has been up the jetty, that the glory of God is going up. The glory of the glory is going there. There is going to be God's going to take His people there. He's taking me there. He's going to take his people there. There's nothing that will be hidden. Nothing that is hidden will remain hidden. The glory will reach there. And praise be to God for that too because there's people need the Lord God to shed his light on the situation that they find themselves in.